I'm sorry. <laughs> they sink mostly. You can't even tell. Next up, we have Nick Fuller. Nice young man. Give him a round of applause. That's so <laughs> How am I gonna follow that up? Um, my car recently got broken into. Well, it didn't really get broken into. I don't lock my doors and I keep my windows down, so I more or less let someone get in my car. And I knew someone had been in my car because everything that was in the glove compartment was on the passenger side seat of my truck. Like all my uh, title, my insurance, my D and D dice and character sheets, or as I like to call them, my chastity emblems. <laughs> See, if you guys knew D&B, fuck it. Uh, <laughs> see, the thing about it, though, is that they didn't steal anything, and that made me feel worse than anything, because petty car thieves don't even want to steal shit from my car. Petty's in their name! Even a woman with, like, a ghetto vocabulary would know what that means, and ironically would call it petty. <laughs> I like that joke. You guys know. <laughs> I actually like that joke. <laughs> so I have a weird family. Uh, I have two older brothers, one that special needs, the other should be. And uh, <laughs> The weird thing about my special needs brother is that he has a special needs girlfriend, and they just got to a dance. And the, the, the weird thing is that they, uh, she recently got pregnant, and all we're hoping is that the baby comes out normal. You know like when you multiply two negatives together and you gotta check it on your phones or ask the Asian behind you. Two negatives equal positive. Like if you multiply negative one by negative one, you get one. Most of you probably don't know math, so. <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding. My brother, uh, I recently got into a pol political uh, conversation with him and he, uh, he said, Obama's fucking ruining the country, wants to turn it all socialist with his fucking health care and shit. He wants to take our guns away. And I said, I said, Danny, you don't even have guns, so why the fuck are you arguing about it? It's like, if you get an abortion, sir, and um, if you get an abortion, then I would say that you are able to talk about women getting abortions, but you don't. Any woman in here could have an, could have an abortion and then be valid to talk about it. Well, if he get an abortion, he's fucked up. <laughs> well, you still get to use the wired coat hanger. No shit. Just stick it in through the urethra, scramble the egg. <laughs> That's what you go oh at? Not me saying that my special needs brother has a special needs girlfriend who has a normal baby? <laughs> I don't know why I get angry all the time. I have a, but what was that on? Oh, my brother. Okay. <laughs> I realized that we, uh, we grew up, all our, most of my family grew up different than how we were growing up. Like, we ended in a totally, completely different spot. Like, my brother Danny, he was real liberal. He listened to, like, John Stewart, Stephen Colbert, thought they were, like, fucking masters of their craft, which they are. But I grew up very conservative and religious, and now I'm atheist, and this is where I lose most of the crowd. <laughs> I'm atheist, and I could give a shit less. My special needs brother more or less stayed the same. Switched from crocodiles to animal crackers. That was the big thing. That joke didn't get shit. <laughs> what else can I talk about? <laughs> well, I'm just, I had an awkward moment this week. I was, uh, I went to Speedway and I got like, I don't, I can't remember what I got, like a pack of cigarettes or a Mountain Dew. I just had a lot of change because I paid him with a 20. And this homeless guy was outside and he asked me, you got any change? And I said no, but I forgot that I was holding the money in my hand. So I folded it up and put it in my pocket. And I was so just like distraught that I, I literally got in my car and did, and did everything I did with starting up my car, just looking down. Because I couldn't, he was right in front of my car, I couldn't stare at him. And I had my window down and he said, you know, I used to be a veteran. And then I was like, oh, now I feel like shit, my dad's a veteran. And it was just, <laughs> I don't know what happened, but then I thought, well, my d I used to have a lot of jobs, and when I would quit, my dad would always go, "Why'd you quit?" And so, when he when he when he said I'm a veteran, I said, "Well, what makes you leave?" He goes, "Well, I, I didn't sign up for my next four four year thing." And I said, "Probably shouldn't have quit." All right, you guys have a great night. <laughs> Here we go for Nick Fuller.